What's up? This is David Allen here. Come to ask the question. The choose to live in fear of death or freedom, which is greater. That is what we as Americans are faced with at this moment. We have this virus that's ravaging through and killing folks, especially people with underlying problems and underlying diseases. But it's not killing everyone. I've seen a thing today where a 102-year-old survivor survived, uh, had COVID survived. So it's not killing everyone, but it is killing people. And then you have the people that say, look, we understand, but we've been doing this for the time and the frame in which you asked for, and we allowed it. But now you're asking to take even more of our freedom away and to cut our freedom from us. It's a revolution start, folks. Plain and simple. That's why we had the Revolutionary War in the beginning. Because we refused to absolutely lay down and take being bullied and beat over the head by a foreign government. Now look, I understand that there's people that have loved ones, older ones, that would do anything for their parents. And I got that. And I understand that the older generation is most acceptable do what you need to do to protect those people. Do what you need to do to protect yourself. But for God's sake, don't expect everyone else to bend to your will if they want to be doing something else. Because this country was founded on freedom. It thrives on it. It needs it. And as soon as you start trying to trample on that freedom as a government you will pay the price from the people. It's already starting. You can already see it. The protests have already started. We were down with the beginning of having the lockdown, and we were even cool with it up to the 30-day mark. But when you keep reaching over and over and over, that's the problem. In the state of Virginia, this man is talking about keeping us locked down till June 15th. That's another two months. That's crazy. Another two months. I understand this is killing folks. I got that. But I believe we have successfully squashed and got the curve down enough to where it doesn't overload our health systems. But I can't see giving up our freedom, our way of life, when other things can kill you just as much as the coronavirus can kill you. That's my thought. I understand this thing is deadly. I got that. I understand that it's killing folks. And I got that. But like I said, I cannot see living in fear of not being able to allow people that don't that have the right. You can't. Their freedom and their rights, as long as they're not harming you, can't be trifled. It can't be stepped on. I mean, it just can't. You, I can't express what I'm trying to say because it, it won't come out the way I'm trying to get it to come out. But what I'm trying to say is freedom means everything in this country. We have freedoms that others do not have that a lot of... Lawmakers in this country wish they could take away, but can't because it is protected. And that is the reason people flock here by the thousands, because we have that freedom. And to allow the government to continue to try to take those freedoms for the overall greater good is crazy, in my opinion. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. People die every day. For one reason or another. I got that. And I understand that this thing is contagious and killing folks. I've got that. And I understand that. That's the reason you have to do what's best for you. That's the freedom that you have to do that. And right now the government is encouraging that. 
but to tell others that they have to do and and have to be just as you think they should be is crazy too. Because life goes on. When this is over and done, life will continue. And this will be just another notch in history of things that went crazily wrong and crazily awry as far as life goes. So folks, freedom in this country is most important. The United States of America was built on it. Cannot allow the government to keep pushing for more control, especially even at the state level. You can't do it. You can't. Peace out. Wash your hands. Be safe.